Kevin Lapierre has been arrested for the brutal murder of a mother of three. A clown and his yodeling sidekick, stars of the reality TV show, Belgium's Got Talent, have been arrested for the brutal murder of a mother of three in front of her children, after a rooftop standoff with armed police which was broadcast live on Facebook. Kevin Lapierre, 31, winner of a prize for the best clown in Netherlands, Belgium and Luxembourg, entertained hundreds of sick children in the guise of his alter ego, Dr. Aspirin. It is claimed he was unable to get on with the three teenage children of his 47-year-old girlfriend, named as Caroline D., leading to their breakup. It is alleged that Lapierre roped and died twin Hegman, 38, who he manages and appears in Lapierre's shows as Clan Toby, to take revenge. Hegman is better known in Belgium as Diatwin the Yodeler, who has released opera ski themed yodeling singles in Dutch and who, like Lapierre, appeared on the Belgium's Got Talent contest. The pair are alleged to have broken into the family home near the Belgian seaside town of Ostend on Sunday night. They are accused of tying up the 12, 15 and 17-year-old children who they terrorized through the night before killing their mother in front of them with a knife. Lapierre, who waited until Belgium's Mother's Day to launch his attack, reportedly told the terrified children, I am no longer a clinic clown but a crummy clown. That's how I will become famous. I am a monster. I know that, he laughed before phoning the children's school to say they would be late on Monday. Lapierre and Hegman separated and fled. Their victim's body was found in the garage by emergency services on Monday and the children released. On Monday, Lapierre stood on top of a 13-story apartment building in the coastal municipality of Bredine, close to his parents' home, waving a pistol was broadcasting on Facebook Live as he threw a gas canister from the roof. Police snipers were deployed and a local school put into lockdown as Lapierre began firing the gun. Footage appeared to show him enjoying the attention, he would put the gun on the floor, wave his arms as if surrendering, then pick the pistol up again and fire it. He surrendered after several hours. His alleged accomplice Hegman commented on Facebook that he couldn't believe what he was seeing on social media before he was arrested. Irish Independent